All right, new belt is installed uh, correctly, I'm pretty sure. So let's pull this tensioner pin. All right, bam, there it is. So I spun it twice and it's lined back up where we want it. The uh, markings on the belt are no longer lined up, but that's it. I'm gonna crank the crank bolt and the cam pulley bolts and then everything is just gonna start flying together, hopefully. Uh, it's possible that I'll be wrapping this up tonight, but we'll see. Uh, it's already pretty late in the day, and I gotta make a run to get the vacuum line, all kinds of stuff. So, all the challenging stuff is over, other than remembering where everything went, of course. We have uh, pretty much all of this put back together, uh, except getting the radiator in, uh, one more pulley, and just figuring out the ignition system and the covering and the air box and then it is good. So I'm very close, I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be done tonight. I haven't really been recording anything I've been doing just because I've been focusing on getting it together. All right, final stages. My all we have to do. tight as fuck. Sorry for my language. I can't get this shit off at all. We have Body. a 50-50. Wow, mixture of up. distilled water and Lexus's incredibly expensive shit. coolant. Uh-oh. Alright, so we're just doing an airlift, and after that, we're gonna start it and see if it runs. Alright, for those of you who don't know, this is called an airlift. It's about the most efficient way that you can refill a cooling system. Essentially, all you do is pull the cooling system to a vacuum as you can see with my hose being collapsed which by the way is good news that means the system is probably sealed pretty well let's find out right now and then that yeah that's another benefit of this system so you can just shut this it off test. and just see if it leaks and if it's leaking it will leak that pressure which is bad, okay? It's looking. So I think we should inject some fluid. What do you think, Clayton? Let's get this yep. thing full. And so, Check when that's out. done, you just open a valve, and the pressure that is held on the system will suck our bucket of coolant in. So go ahead. And there it goes. Pressure's so that, also dropping. Is that a good thing? That's great. So that's a really quick way to fill the cooling system. I don't want to do it in any other way anymore. Yeah, wow. yeah, Lexus charged me thirty dollars a jug of coolant, which is a hundred percent markup, which means they doubled, they doubled their money. So in a clean bucket, this is the easiest way to do it. We don't really have any spare jugs, but whatever. I say that's a 50-50 mix. They're filling up. It's a really good sign. Yeah, we're doing good. Nice. Yep, and that is that. That's how that shit works. All right, it's filled, yep. sealed, in theory, I mean, for now. Good idea to like. It's fine. It's foolproof. It ain't bulletproof, but it really helps. It makes it really cuts down on on bleeding your coolant. That is awesome. <laughs> I'd always check it though. If you use this shit, always check it afterwards. Don't just trust it. And with that, I think we're gonna try and start it. I agree. Yikes. Rip this shit. Okay, I guess this will be the initial startup. Hang Ready? on, brother. I think it's ready. I think the question needs to be asked, is Clayton ready? Ready to start this shit? Uh, 
Surfing, rock in the parking lot, my weed lighter than I like the game, blah, blah. I be on her mind like non stop, yeah. Had to cut the little dot, no time out. Remember, smoke a blunt to my friends. Sex a couple of day, uh, yeah, lost a lot. All right, I admit, I uh, had a little bit of a boo boo on the LS, and basically, I had two spark plug wires crossed. But as you can imagine, it was missing and running like absolute dog shit, and it scared the crap out of me. So, got that fixed and now it's running perfectly. I'm running the BG EPR, which will help break up some sludge and that kind of thing in the engine. Uh, you just run it for about 10 minutes minimum at operating temperature and then drain the oil out and a bunch of nastiness will come out. We'll put MOA and Mobile One in here. All right, my buddy Dante told me that my brake light is out, so we got to do that before we go. And we just did the oil change, so new filter. I might switch that filter out, but we got uh, all three of the BG products were used. So that was the engine performance restoration, which we put in there, ran, drained out. Uh, BG 44K, which is fuel treatment, and then oil additive. So that's a nice package there. Next timing belt due at 310K. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. See that clump of metal on that filament? So what happened to my bulb. A tip that will prevent failure of a new bulb is you can't touch a halogen bulb like this, or any bulb really, you should not be touching with your greasy fingers. The oils from a human's finger will cause this bulb to overheat, fail prematurely. Alright, hello, it is Clayton from the future in two weeks. Thank you so much for watching my LS400 timing belt video. We got it done. Next timing belt due 310k. Pretty awesome. So that will probably take care of a lot of the maintenance for a long time and I'm very happy about it. Um, I'm glad I did it. We got the water pump, the water pump was leaking, timing belt was totally cracked, we got all new ignition components, everything, car runs much smoother, and I have the peace of mind, I drove it up to the mountains, I had a good time, and uh, the timing belt didn't snap on me. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed, leave a like, uh, leave a comment if you have something to say or a question or anything, uh, let me know, check out all the links in the description. There's all kinds of tools, my equipment, my social media links, that kind of stuff. Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Love you.